Hey, it's No Gas. Welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a little different because I just bought a DJI mic, and it's of the wireless variety. I'm trying to improve the quality of the sound on the videos. And, uh, well, for instance, right now, I'm shooting with an Insta360 um, One RS, and um, on that, it has a built-in mic. But the one I'm shooting with right now, I have an adapter that fits in here. And then there's a uh, external mic that plugs into that. And this one right now has a little fuzzy mouse on it too for wind, which is, I'm wearing the garage, so there's no wind. But uh, anyway, that's what we're shooting with right now. And I don't like the sound, so I want some better sound. So I went ahead and bought this. And well, let's take a look at it. Hey, this is No Gas. Thanks for dropping in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'd like to invite you to come along with us as we ride to various motorcycle destinations in Southwest Florida and throughout the United States, sometimes solo, other times with friends. If you're a current subscriber, thank you. If not, please subscribe. It's free, doesn't cost a thing. Um, this is the DJI mic. So let's open it up and see what we got. Well, and here's a little accessory box. And this guy is the main unit. All right, so let's not drop it. Uh, let's open the accessory box first and see what we got. Looks like we got a nice little pouch. Carry everything in. Ah, and it came with some fuzzy mice on its own, which I didn't know it came with those, so I went ahead and bought some more. <laughs> So anyway, there's two in here. So now I have four fuzzy mice. Uh, we got some directions. Uh, Chinese, but uh, yeah, no words anyway. They're just pictures. So we'll figure that out. What else we got? I don't know what that is. Looks like decals. And something else. Oh, a charging cable. And one more cable, yep. One more cable to interface your wireless receiver with the camera of choice. So let's open the main unit here and take a look at that. Here's our main unit. Slide that right out. Okay, open this way. There she, whoa, it's all lit up. Uh, so this is a charging unit. Looks like it's got two out of four lights on the charging unit. So this, yeah, everything's fully charged inside. We got a mic unit here, a mic unit here, and a transceiver, uh, receiver, sorry. Uh, so let's take a look at the mic, one of the mic units. There she is. DJI. Uh, nice looking mic unit. It's... Got an on light on, and there's an on off button here. It vibrated when I pushed it and it shut off. Vibrated and turned on. Okay. Then there's also a record button, and I think that's for internal recording. These have some, I don't know if it's stored here or if it's stored on the uh, receiving unit, but something can store a certain amount of uh, audio track. All right, so that's what we got there. Here's the receiver. That's the receiver unit. So what I'm going to try to do is mount the receiver unit on top of this um, uh, Insta360 One RS. And there is fittings here for what they call a cold shoe, which I don't have. It's ordered and it's coming Monday. This is Friday. So once I get that, I'll be able to. But it's something like this. It looks something like this. Something like one of these, and it fits right on here. And then this has a, uh, a unit in here that goes onto the receiver, and it slides into the cold shoe, I think it's called. Um, and that attaches to the receiver unit down here. So that attaches the whole thing to the camera and it'll set up there like this. 
and then you run this wire out of here and into here. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's try it and we'll see what the sound sounds like compared to what we're listening to right now. All right. I have the uh, transmitting unit right here on my pocket. Um, it's clipped onto my pocket, but it has a little magnetic base. So I could just put it anywhere on my shirt. So um, we'll see how this sounds compared to what we had before. This is Mad Danny's 1991 1200 XLH Sportster. Um, I bought it probably back in 94 or something like that, 95 maybe, and uh, did a little bit of modification on it. Um, for instance, this tank was gifted to me. Um, it's a f stretched fat bob, they call it, and it holds four gallons. So I took the little three gallon peanut tank off of it, had it painted. Uh, before I did that, I cleaned the inside because it was raw when I got it. So I cleaned the inside and sealed it. Then uh, I put this Corbin seat on. Oh, I changed the fenders, took the old tins off. And these are fiberglass fenders that I put on it. Um, moved the license plate below the tail light. Put some drag pipes on it on this side. Uh, what else? Um, after Mad Danny started riding it, we got her a windshield. And, oh, she wanted the uh, engine guard there. And the only way you could put an engine guard on here is if you remove the forward controls and put the standard controls back on. So uh, she wanted to do that. So we did that because uh, she's a new rider. So she wanted to sit in that position while she was learning. Uh, now that she's been riding for a while, she may someday want to put the extended controls back on. But, uh, you know, if she wants to, we will. If she doesn't, that's fine. It's her choice. Um, so anyway, it's been giving us a little trouble. Um, seems to be fuel issues. So I'm going to pull the tank and I have to, oh, I also made this dash and put the gauges. We took the gauges that used to be set up here on the old Sportsters. And uh, we moved them onto a dash that we built, a buddy of mine and I. And uh, so I got to remove that and then pull the tank, clean it all out, reseal it, put it back. Um, also, we've been having some electrical issues. Uh, the turn signals aren't dependable. The headlamp doesn't work once in a while. So um, I noticed that the wiring has been cut into a lot over the years. And there's a lot of butt splices in there. And... So anyway, I bought a new wiring harness for it, and uh, we're going to go ahead and put that on. While I have the tank off, I'll pull the seat, you know, and we'll replace as much wiring as we can and get that part of it running better. Um, then also, not too long ago, I had this gifted to me. It's a uh, smoked LED taillight, and so uh, we'll go ahead and put that on for Mad Danny, too, because... Uh, her bike is red and black, and I think that'll, that'll look nice back there. So we'll get, after we get the wiring fixed, then we'll put that on. So those are just a few of the projects that I want to do. So I'm going to make some videos, uh, bring you in on it, and then uh, every once in a while I'll throw one of these videos so you can see uh, how it's coming along. I want to get it done so she can ride it this summer when she gets home from college, which won't be long. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for stopping by.